Hi, welcome back to the Pool Butler YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to spotlight one of our most recent blog posts. So, without further ado, Robert, take it away. Thanks, Jennifer, and thank you for watching our video about treating your pool before and after it rains. A small amount of rain will have little to no effect on your pool. However, when a storm dumps one to three inches of water in a short period, it could take a toll on your pool water. The extent of the damage and the amount of rainwater it takes to have an effect depends on the size of your pool, but one to three inches is a good rule of thumb. One thing most people don't know about rainwater is that it is acidic. It has a lower pH than your pool water, so if enough of it gets in your pool, it could lower its pH. Another issue with rainwater is that it picks up tiny bits of organic matter and algae spores from everything it touches. It can even collect algae spores from the air. So when a significant amount of rainwater enters your pool, it brings with it just the sort of debris you work so hard to keep out. You can read the full blog post entitled Treating Your Pool Before and After It Rains on our website at thepoolbutler.com. We have a link directly to this post under the video in the description box. In addition to our blog, be sure to check out the rest of the Pool Butler website. We have over six sections dedicated to helping you learn more about us and why we are the absolute best choice for all of your swimming pool maintenance, cleaning, and repair needs in Atlanta. Do you have swimming pool questions? No problem. On our website, you will find tons of answers, customer testimonials, our contact information, and multiple pages that highlight the swimming pool services we offer, including eco-friendly solutions. After visiting us online, email or call us directly, and we will be happy to answer any swimming pool questions you might have. Learn more about why The Pool Butler is the ideal company for your swimming pool needs on our website at thepoolbutler.net. And finally, make sure to check out the description box below this video, where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles. Thanks for watching, and now let's take it back to Jennifer. Thanks, Robert. Now it's your turn. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon and on the subscribe button below this video. After that, make sure to check out the description box where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles.